written by the devil is the seventh full-length album from Amon Corner. This is a Brazilian black metal band who've been around since 1992. Early on, they were probably influenced by bands like Venom. Eventually, Samael was per- pretty clearly an influence. Maybe more Trey Drape or Rotting Christ as well. They're often compared with Verathron for their mid-paced and heavy metal influenced sound. And you'll get that right away on Fall Ascension Domination, which is quite a good record from 93. Uh, their their second album is probably the peak of that early sound. It's when it featured, I believe, their original drummer and uh, well, an original guitarist, and that was kind of the the defining th- product of their sound. I think it's really important if you're going to approach this new record, you go back and know where they came from because it's a, it's a classic sound. It's a great side of black metal that I like quite a bit. It's the main reason why I'm covering it now. But it's almost just as important to know where they went in the interim. Like many bands over the years, they went in a lot of different directions, and they never fell off the horse. But they had different they had different lineups over the years that had varied results. Uh, I particularly liked Leviathan Demise. I thought it was a decent record back in the, in the day. And I think the return of the band it was slow but surely kind of got up to a, a nice place when Under the Whip and Crown came out in 2018. It felt like they were going back to where they started in some ways bringing back the kind of the 80s black metal feeling the first wave stuff but also remembering who they were in terms of the mid-paced uh, black metal style so the drumming kind of returned to that feeling the, the original vocalist returned and so it all felt like they were back and so this is making good on the promise of that and i would say this album does pretty well to, to give you exactly what aim and corner sound like so let's listen to what that sounds like ourselves and check out a song here <laughs> So as I talk about maybe some thrash influence songs, some jogging mid pace, some double bass drumming, you should get a little bit of deja vu for when I was talking about the latest Mortuary Drape record because that really is that old school black metal feeling. It is that related to heavy metal style. And in a lot of ways, I enjoy this record and for some of the same reasons. I think that this is probably less of a merciful fate influence thing and again we could look to old samael the, f- the first record in particular for the blueprint of how they approach a lot of what they're doing over the years they've been compared to root i think that's uh, maybe a little bit too far gone if you're going to suggest that but th- this new record i guess it makes good on simple song structures mid-paced pieces that are haunting they're thoughtfully arranged they've got riffs uh there, there is some heavy metal influence in everything they do and i think that's about as deep as it gets uh if you're looking for something that is that early 90s sound but not the scandinavian version of it this band they, they've got a pretty good handle on it and they've done a great job with this record so I would. I think there's a couple of mishaps here. It's not a perfect record. It, nothing that I would skip over when I was listening to it. So it was consistent, but there are a fair bit of interruptions along the way that are for the sake of presentation. So uh, not a perfect record in terms of just replayability, but for... A, saying the band return after five years i think this is a great way to do it i appreciated the design of the record as well as the the way that it's all put together presentation could use a little bit of work from my point of view otherwise but a pretty great record and one i would recommend so check that out it releases today on june 7th and uh, listen to it yourself see what you think and uh, see where you think it goes right and goes wrong Faces and you 